The other car for today is another oddball Chrysler re related product. We've got a Jeep Wagoneer, although it was listed on row 52 as an AMC Wagoneer. Um, it does have Jeep right here above the grill, although someone could put it on. But the other indication is right here, it says Jeep. Although this is the AMC logo. So it was sold at those uh, AMC Jeep dealers. So this one has the legendary straight six four liter. Uh, this is the legendary engine among Jeep people. Got good torque. People love it. People have had them in Wranglers and Wagoneers and all sorts of stuff for a long time. So this one surprisingly had 161,000 on it. Of course that's assuming the odometer is correct. Now I don't know if they actually made these a limited, but it does have limited stitch into the seats. And it does look like the seats match the rear, so it could very well be limited, which is usually like the top model, but I'm no expert. The homemade switch. It is an automatic. You've got this to shift to four-wheel drive. But maybe part of the most interesting thing in here is that somebody made their own camouflage headliner. And they started to wrap the door panels as well. They didn't get to the driver's side one. It's kind of falling apart. There's lots of wood paneling on here. And it looks like there used to be wood paneling on the outside, but most of it got scraped off or rusted off. But they wrapped the the pillar plastic and everything. All the headliner, which is now sagging pretty badly. But this thing was fairly well used. Looking by all the rust on it everywhere. Four liter Wagoneer. Got a couple of barley pops, oat sodas in the back got a little bit of damage right here maybe off-roading people love to off-road on these it is the solid axles front and rear I like these uh, integrated fog lights All the mirrors are broke. Oh, it looks like they even they wrapped the glove box too. I wonder if they lost all the stuff in here because they uh, couldn't find anything with all the camo. Then you got shag carpet on your door panels. Yeah, those are the days. This one's an 87, I don't know if I said that already. I put special speakers in the back. Does this have? It used to have AccuSound by Jensen. But that was replaced by well, Audio Bond in the back and then something else on the front. Kenwoods. Looks like the cheap model. Still got gas in it, looks like. Whatever that switch does. Then it's pretty dirty, but looks like well used. Let's take a look at the hood. Not too bad. 
you know, this up front, drum brakes in the rear. Pretty standard truck related stuff. This one did have air conditioning though. That would have been nice. But I guess if this is limited, probably had all the special features and options, all the uh, special high-end wood paneling, fake simulated wood paneling on the sides. Didn't have too much rust protection though, but it's an AMC. Well, that's it.